Now let's get to know more about this recent development. We have political analyst and Stratbase Institute President Dindo Manhit on the line. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, Angelo. Yes, yeah, sir. Did you? Well, I think we all expected VP Sarao uh, to resign as the uh, secretary, but did you expect it this uh, this early? You could say it's surprising mm -hmm. for her to resign at this time. Mm -hmm. We, but we have long expected it since the start of the year, given the strong statement no, yes. by not only by the father but by the siblings no, against uh, President Marcos Jr. Mm -hmm. And it even became too personal, with no valid, uh, you'd say, supporting data on their attacks. So. Yes. So it's just that uh, yesterday was a surprise. Mm -hmm. uh, with this recent movements, will we see now uh, more rhetoric from or rhetoric from uh, VP Sara, or paunahin niya lang muna yung mga allies niya? We can expect uh, her to. It's I'll use the word calibrated, no? Okay. Because it could backfire. Now she is in the same position as former VP Lenny Robredo, who mm -hmm. attacked a sitting president and backfired, and she lost support mm -hmm. along the way. Yes. So what we should uh, look at now is uh, what will be the next step. But me, what I'm looking forward to is how do they define themselves go as we go into an election season by October, when the filing of candidates for the midterm election will end. Yes. So as they position themselves there, I think we'll have greater clarity on the political position of VP, VP Sara. That's what I wanted to ask, sir. No? Um, uh, they're claiming to be now the leader of the opposition. However, if you look at the reason why VP Sara won in the first place is at the time she ran with President uh, Bongbong Marcos, they were on the same page as to ano yung platform. And yung, the other side naman, yung Liberal Party, claims sila pa rin ang opposition. So medyo muddled na po ang political landscape. Uh, what happens now to the Liberal Party po, yung mga tinatawag nilang yellow and pink, and what happens now to sila yung Duterte base uh, ngayon na nag-resign na nga siya formally from the Uni team? Me, I'll, I find it a uh, opportunity for the Liberal Party who would really like true reforms in our government mm -hmm. or the so-called yellows, I should say, to maybe work with the current administration, as we have seen that for nearly two years, the government of Michael Jr. has really pushed reforms, mm -hmm. both at the executive and the legislative level. So maybe they can go beyond politics, mm -hmm. you know, as usual, and they could show think beyond politics mm -hmm. and see themselves as active partners. Okay. That would be where I would like mm -hmm. uh, the Liberal Party. But unlike with the Duterte family, they have defined themselves quite critical of the president and quite critical, especially in the foreign policy side of the president, which is China. Uh, and we should be, we, that we have seen is a clear division now on policy positions uh, of both personalities mm -hmm. and the Marcos and its political allies. Right. And sino po ang uh, magbebenepisyo dito po sa mga nangyayari na ito ngayon, no? no recent developments sa political landscape ng Pilipinas in terms of alliances dahil nga po, uh, di ba, how will this affect uh, itong uh, the Marcos administration's plans for the 2028 national elections? And we all know naman po na itong nga pong unit team na binuo nila nung nakaraang eleksyon ay composed po of different uh, politicos no o politicians na uh, parehas po silang uh, sinoportahan what is clear with us is that uh, is that Marcos and the Duterte's are now divided politically mm -hmm. so we will see again by October as people file their candidacy as people define to whom to what alliances or coalitions they will be uh, then we will see by the time. At this moment, everything is speculative. But mm -hmm. if you'll ask my, my strategic opinion, mm -hmm. I see a lot of parties coalescing with the president. Yes. Mm -hmm. More than the presidential. I see a lot of opponents in the 2022 election coalescing with the president.
Because uh, a lot of them are supportive of the reform and governance agenda of the president. And uh, it's and interesting. It, will, it, might oh, okay. it might isolate the Duterte uh, going into the 2025 election. Well, it's interesting you said that with coalescing with the president. Uh, it's, uh, some say that the president's policies are very similar to that of uh, former late president uh, Noinoy Aquino. Then can we now see a possible appointment from uh, that side of the fence, possibly uh, former Vice President Lenny Robredo as a DepEd secretary, which could form a new alliance? I don't see appointments. Mm -hmm. uh, there might be no interest. But a stronger, more than appointment, is really a political coalition mm -hmm. to win the 2025 election collectively. And I'm referring not to Lenny Robredo only, but I'm talking to Laxon Soto Tandem, mm -hmm. Francisco Moreno, or Bani Pacquiao, all working together in one true unity government, not limited to Duterte and uh, Marcos only. Mm, okay. All right, on that note, uh, marami pa po kami gustong itanong sa inyo, but unfortunately, we don't have much time. But uh, for the meantime, thank you so much, Political Analyst and Strat-Based Institute President, Dean Domanhit. Thank you.